left behind. One evening, as the sun was beginning to set, James was pulling a goods train along the main line. He was making excellent time, and the trucks were behaving well. He felt most proud of himself. Ahead, the line curved past a field. James did that field well. It was the same one where he crashed on his first day. Oh, to be young and foolish. You'd never catch me coming off the rails now. Trucks don't dare give me trouble. Of course, he'd spoken too soon. The trucks had overheard. We've plenty of trouble to give, they chuckled, banging their bones. Smarten up back there, barked James, bumping the turn. That did the trick. An old coupling broke. The last three trucks and the brake van came loose. James felt a jolt, but assumed it was another bump from the trucks and carried on. The guard braked the trucks to a halt, then got down from the van. He saw James speeding off down the line. Oh, for pity's sake, he grumbled. He walked back to the last signal box, putting detonators on the rails as he went. The trucks, meanwhile, were delighted. That'll teach him not to push us around, giggled one. Why stop there, smirked another. He said we don't give him trouble, but we gave it. He said he'd never come off the rails. Let's prove him wrong. Wouldn't do that if I were you. Sat in the field nearby were more trucks. They were old and filthy, with rotting wood and rust all over. They lay broken and crooked amongst the dirt. How'd you get there? asked James's trucks. Did the very thing you were scheming up, said an old truck. That James was naive. Let him think he had us under control, then struck. Poor fella's brake blocks caught fire, and we took care of the rest. Lovely crash it was, <laughs> cackled an old truck, and the rest laughed hoarsely. The cranes came, continued the first truck. They took away our friends who were still on the rails, then rescued James. We were sure we'd be next. It paused dramatically. Then, the crane arms came to rest on the flatbeds, and an engine took them away. They weren't going to rescue us. But, stammered one of James's trucks, we're indispensable. How could they not rescue you? Indispensable, cried an old truck. Listen, young'un. The workshops build hundreds of you in the time it takes to fix one steam engine. Why bother with us? Too much effort when they could just make a new truck and be done with it. So, if we c c crash stammered James's trucks, we'll be... Just like us, wheezed an old truck. I'll never feel rails under my wheels again if I've even got wheels left. Been buried in earth so long, who knows if they're still there? The old trucks laughed like hyenas. It sent chills through the frames of James's trucks. They were speechless. A whistle cut through the laughter. James had been flagged down at the station and sent back to retrieve the trucks. Silly things, he grumbled, bumping them hard. You could have caused an accident. We, we're sorry, James, they quivered. James was quite taken aback. The guard fastened the coupling, and he puffed off without another word. His trucks looked back at the field and shuddered as they were pulled away. The old trucks fell silent, watching the train disappear on the horizon. They hoped the young ones heeded their words and wouldn't make the same mistake they had. Just then, a 
crow landed atop one of them. Heh, <laughs> the truck chuckled wistfully. No good as a truck, and no good as a scarecrow either. <laughs>